Welcome back to Photo Finish Garage. Uh, this video is just gonna be kind of a journey as you guys follow me as I track down a, a gas mail that's inside the vehicle. So it seems to be a common problem on these. Uh, whenever you go to turn your uh, your blower uh, on, if you're gonna be you know uh, putting your AC or your heat on, uh, you'll can you can smell fuel like a raw gas smell uh, inside the cab coming through the vents and one thing this seems to be a common problem and one thing people always track it down to is the uh, they always say well just retorque your your spark plugs because apparently uh, Ford increased the uh, torque spec on the spark plug uh, on this truck um, to keep them from backing out apparently they were backing out and uh, I guess releasing some of those uh, combustion gases but for me I already torqued mine down multiple times uh, and it has not helped um, and actually when I turn my vehicle off and get out of the vehicle I can still smell that raw fuel uh, even though the vehicle has been turned off uh, so one thing I'm gonna be checking in this video is I'm gonna pull my injectors I pull all my injectors here and I'm gonna check the O-rings uh, that seat on there. Um, I have a strong suspicion it's something going on with either that injector in the rear on this side or the injector in the rear on that side because they are the closest to the blower uh, motor. You know, your fresh air and your blower, uh, your fresh air recirculation comes in in this area in the cowl and then gets sucked up uh, <clears throat> by the HVAC system and the blower motor and then of course filters into the uh, the cab um, and I don't see any kind of bubbling uh, when I you know I was thinking maybe when the trucks running I might be able to see some wetness or build up and I got none of that on both sides yeah I got absolutely no build up so what i'm going to do is just go ahead and pull this rail off and to do so we are going to come up here to our fuse box and we're going to pull our number eight relay here this is our fuel pump relay and what this will do once we get it out is we'll go and turn the truck over and let it run until it dies and what that'll let us know is that we've cleared out all of the fuel out of the fuel rail uh, so that when we disconnect uh, the fuel rail and the injectors, we don't get a bunch of fuel uh, that's going to spray out everywhere. To remove our fuel rail, we actually got four number eight bolts. That's one. That's two down there. That's three. And that's four. Prior to removing that, I would go ahead and recommend just unplugging your injectors. Shouldn't be a problem. You got eight of them, just unplug them. And then we'll move on to removing the actual fuel rail. Now we'll be removing fuel rail. Really what I'm trying to do is just get the injectors off anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I get that line disconnected. But you see all my injectors came out with the O-rings stuck down off in there. So the O-rings is what I was going to inspect anyway. Um, and what I was gonna change out on them. All right. All right, so I got all these clips off. Um, essentially, these clips hold <clears throat> these clips hold the injectors in <clears throat> to the fuel rail, and they pretty much snap in. You know, if you look at it from that orientation, they slide in to the injector, 
and then they snap in to this open slot which is on each side of the of the rail here so they pretty much lock in like that so you'll have to pry one side down and then the other side and slide it back um, this side came out uh, fairly easy um, these injectors all came out with their o-rings these injectors are pretty oh excuse me the o-rings are pretty hard to the touch um, what I want to know is what the o-ring looks like on that back one and then when I look over here all the o-rings are actually not even on here they all <coughs> I think are still stuck down in there so I gotta figure out how to get them out of there so I can replace them um, oh wait a minute nope they're right here sorry about that they blended in on me <laughs> so they're right here okay that's that's good news I was a little worried there I was a little worried but um yeah I'm gonna inspect these and see if any of these are overly bad I mean you know people talk about a leaky injector and things like that you know outside of the this vacuum leak uh or the evap leak i haven't really had any running you know any misfiring issues um i actually resolved the misfiring that i had with replacing the spark plugs that were never replaced when i bought the truck but outside of that it's been a pretty good truck um so i'm gonna go ahead and take these injectors off the rail and then I'm just gonna inspect them individually, take them inside so I can warm up, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I have all the injectors actually out of the truck, and I, I went ahead and labeled them so I knew what order and which cylinder they came from. But this is starting with the passenger side front. That's a one, two, three, and four, obviously five, six, seven, and eight. And so what I was doing, I went to inspect each uh, O-ring around these, uh, or around the o-ring on the injectors and I actually found something interesting um, that I think could be uh, a part of the problem with the fuel smell so if you look at number four which would be on the passenger side back you know it doesn't look that uh, worn so to speak um, it's actually let's see if I can get this to focus here So it's actually not too bad. Let me clean off this lens. Okay, so when we're looking at it, you know, outside of it being hard, it doesn't actually have, you know, any anything noticeable or odd about that, right? And I only pulled that because, I again, the blower motor is towards the back of the firewall. So that, to me, indicates that something's going on with the rear injector since that smell is permeating back there. So I want to show you something on my number seven. So this is driver's side, and this is, uh, you know, the third one back on the left side here. Look, look at the condition of this O-ring. This O-ring has pitting in it. You can see very closely has a lot of pitting and I'm not sure if that could be our issue as far as it not getting good, a good seal. This is my number six as well. Some small areas of pitting in the rubber but it's definitely not a smooth O-ring like we just saw on the opposite side of the engine. This is uh, number five. You know, slight pitting as well. And this is my number eight. So this is the one that's in the far back. Um, this surface is also it's still like a pitting in the rubber there. See, you, dude, that's a good. You can see how not, you know, how unsmooth that area is. 
So I'm gonna get these off, these O-rings off, and we'll look at them a little closer. All right, so I got all the O-rings out. Just kind of want to do a little inspection. This one was my number seven as previously indicated, and it, it really doesn't look that good. I mean, it really does not look that good at all. So I wonder if this could be our issue. Um, <clears throat> doesn't look like a good o-ring at all the interesting part is the uppers still look like they're in good shape i'm gonna go ahead and replace them because i got them you know i already got them off so i'm gonna replace them if i can find them uh i saw that autozone sells these so i'm gonna go ahead oh and by the way they come uh only in four so you're gonna need you know obviously two kits to address this also, real quick, wanted to document my number five O-ring, which, let me see, hold on. I don't know if we can see it or not. There you go. Also has the same pitting. And this one actually has some cracks in it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. There you go. There's some cracks in this rubber. So these injector O-rings might be the cause of our issues. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a set, get them replaced, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, I am back. I went and got the, um, or well, Pro saying it's the uh, lower injector O-ring. If you actually compare it, this is the Felpro O-ring. This is the, you know, the stock one. You can clearly see that they are different diameters, um, different thicknesses. This ES70599 is actually listed as a lower injector O-ring. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that. I cross-referenced this with several stores, Felpro's website, Summit Racing. I mean, this is what they say is the part. So... I did just test it. I made sure that I could even uh, slide this O-ring onto my uh, injector, um, and it did, and then I even oiled it up <clears throat> and did a test fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish the rest of these, um, and I'll be right back to show you kind of how it, uh, how it sits. But you just wanna make sure you use some clean engine oil just as a, a lubricant to help get um, the new O-rings on there. Uh, so you don't stretch them out. Uh, I did not replace the uppers. Had I known that they're basically going to be the same, I would have bought another eight and just replaced both the uppers and the lowers. Um, but the uppers are actually still supple and and uh, the rubber is in good shape. So I'm going to leave that uh, for it right now. You can see I got it started and... Might not be able to do this with the one hand, but I'll definitely try. There you go. Now it is a tight fit, so it should work. Should work well. All right, so we're just taking us little bit of oil here rubbing it around the top of our injector like we did the bottom coming over here to our fuel rail and just applying Let's see if I can do it with one hand maybe maybe not yep snapping that in there <clears throat> and then we have our locks here and you can see I already slid one on. They go up in this orientation. Oops, sorry. In this orientation with the little ears up, as you can see. And then they, they're gonna slide in up under our injectors here. And actually, I need to come down a little bit. There's a little groove that they're supposed to catch right there. So 
I need to come down on this one actually. But let's see. Catch that groove both sides. And let's see. Snap on one side, snap on the other. See? Now it's locked in. This side is not locked in. So let me redo that one. There we go. Only took a moment. So let me finish these up. I got everything lubed up. I got the uh, ports cleaned out. And then we're just going to sit this, uh, seat them back down once we get it, uh, once we get all the clips and injectors installed. Well, we got everything back on. Um, I don't see any leaks from our injectors, so that's a good sign. I can't really tell if I fixed my main problem, only because uh, I'm having a hard time smelling right now. But I'm gonna check and uh, check back in the morning and see. But all those O-rings seated very well. Everything looks good. So, the purpose of this video is pretty much um, as you're checking uh, for that gas smell in your uh, cab when the blower's on, check your injector O rings um, because those are also uh, an issue um, and a known fail point, as I already indicated in my video. Uh, stay tuned. Um, the next project's going to be the uh, uh, blend door actuator that's clicking uh, at the moment um, which is just indicating that it's worn out uh, so stay tuned thanks for watching hey welcome back uh, this is actually a snippet that's going to be at the end of the video that you're watching just an, a quick update uh, during that the recording of that video I mentioned that I was unsure if the repairs to that injector o-ring were actually going to be the uh, fix for the inside cabin uh, gas smell and I just wanted to go ahead and do an update uh, saying 100% that is or was the cause of the raw fuel smell uh, inside the cabin and the way I know that is I actually went to fill the truck up today and normally on Phillips uh, the truck um, as the vehicles running if you leave it running to fill it up or even after uh, you would immediately start getting a large, uh, noxious um, uh, smell of raw gas fumes coming through the vents. And I went and put gas in the truck today, and there is no remnants of that raw uh, fuel smell. So this is the fix. Um, it's not retorquing the spark plugs, which probably helps. It is, in fact, your injector O-rings that are likely worn. So thanks for watching. Come back. Uh, I'm going to be having some more content um, and I just hope to help as many people as I can. Appreciate you.